What's going on everyone? My name's Eric and today we have this guitar on the bench here. This is a BC Rich Dark Arts Warlaw. And honestly, I don't really know where the Dark Arts name kind of fits with like the trim levels and everything on BC Rich guitars. Um, there's not a lot of info on these guitars, but judging from the specs on these, it's probably a little higher up because it has a mahogany body, has some binding, it has 24 frets, it has the nice diamond inlays, which is you know, kind of indicates that it's a higher end model. It also has a mahogany neck that goes through the body, so neck through guitars or neck through bodies and designs from BC Rich. Also generally indicates that it is a higher build quality or a higher model series. We got the Widow headstock as well, super nice as well. Two BC Rich pickups here, and those kind of came standard pretty well on any BC Rich guitar that you had, no matter what the series was, unless it was a signature series and you probably had something different. Otherwise, uh, yeah, it's a pretty sweet guitar. It feels really good, and the neck feels fantastic, especially the fact that it's a neck through. You can get up to those high frets real, real nice. Um, so what we're going to do today is a few things. We're going to work on the electronics. We are gonna do a pickup swap here, and then we gotta do a little bit of a nut swap here because this nut is doesn't really fit that well, and you're gonna see why we gotta do that in a little bit here. So, let's cut the talk and let's get right to the bench. Here we go. All right, guitar's on the bench, and let's just go over why the nut has to be replaced. Like, the nut is fine, it works and does its job, but as you can see with all this extra like glue around here, it has been replaced, but it looks like it's been replaced with the actual wrong nut because hard to kind of tell on camera but I can actually feel a separation here between the nut and the fingerboard edge and also the nut is actually just too narrow for the fingerboard so it's actually going to decrease the fingerboard uh, the string spacing here so I have the proper size nut I'm going to throw it on here and then you're going to actually have a guitar that actually has the correct string spacing and nut width and nut that's supposed to be on the guitar and if you have a guitar that's that has this issue um, it's actually a really easy fix which you're going to see in just a second here so Let's get the strings off and let's replace the nut and let's get those pickups out and get something better in. Now these pickups are direct mount, which means they're going to mount right into the body and not using like a traditional like pickup ring that would be on like a traditional guitar or anything, okay? So what you're going to want to do is essentially take uh, one of the screws from the old pickups or from the new uh, set that you might have. You're essentially going to mill out the pickup screw hole that's on the pickup ring tab. You're gonna be making it bigger just so the screw can actually kind of just sit in there. And if you're not having luck with this method here of just uh, taking a screw and screwing it through the ear of this tab here, what you're gonna do is then actually take a drill and kind of just drill out this hole a little bit bigger just so the screw can kind of just sit there. And since you don't need a spring with these direct mount pickups into the body on this design anyways, uh, the foam is gonna do all the work here. You can add a spring there if you totally want, uh, but otherwise foam and the screw with just the pickup here is gonna get you where you want. All right, and here we have the BC Rich Dark Arts Warlock all finished up here. The new nut is on there, the whole guitar has been cleaned, fretboard is oiled, frets are clean, um, yeah, the new DeMarzo Super Distortions are in here, tone knob has been disconnected, might have been hard to see on camera, but I've done it a bunch of times and there's a lot of videos on my channel that go over how you do that, so yeah, go check those out if you want to see that in a little bit more close-up detail than this one around, yeah. Otherwise, sweet guitar, this is kind of like my first time with a Warlock, um, but yeah, I've played BC Riches before, they're great guitars, especially when you get one of these high-end neck through ones. The old ones I would love to play, like from the 80s, those ones are super sick. But yeah, I actually have my own BC Rich. Uh, you guys haven't seen it here, you might have seen it um, if you're in the local community where I'm from. I used to gig it a lot back in the day, and you know, maybe I will bring it on the channel here if there's enough interest on pointy guitars, because I like them as well, they're very cool. Anyways, with all that rambling, what you're going to hear is this guitar through the John Petrucci archetype from Neural DSP. We're going to make it real simple, and yeah, that's kind of it. I'm going to go through a couple different tones, clean, lead, distortion, you know, that's how we roll here, and without further ado, Let's hear how this thing sounds.
BC Rich Dark Arts Warlock. Once again, new pickups, new nut, clean out the whole guitar, and we got rid of the toe knob because who needs that when you're playing metal? And yeah, this thing's sweet, especially if you can find one of these nice old neck through BC Riches. Go ahead and do yourself a favor and just get it because they are pretty sick. Especially if you like pointy guitars like me, um, they actually add a little bit of variety to your collection. So yeah, and honestly the thing you gotta do with these BC Rich guitars is essentially just put new pickups in them because the ones that come from factory, as I said earlier, aren't the greatest. So if you get anything that is aftermarket, you're just gonna be in good shape no matter what you get. So with all that being said, thanks for checking out this video and if you like this video and the other kinds of videos that I do regarding like setups, tutorials and all that, those things like that, let me know in the comments below if you want me to keep making them because I like making them and I like showing off cool guitars like this to you guys as well lets me know that I'm doing a good job and you like the things that I make which is very important like the video too you know that really helps me out grow the channel and all that and if you're familiar with all the other things I do like covers and Pantera stuff and you know all the dime bag guitars and all that consider subscribing if you're not subscribed already because there's always gonna be more things like that coming down the pipeline because you guys know I'm a huge Pantera fan so with all that being said thanks for checking out this video and I'll see you next time